Hi there YouTube, this is SJM4306 and I wanted to show you a new project that I just started because I found the, uh, if you saw my previous video, I found a broken Retro Duo where the SNES side uh, still worked for very cheap. And so I ordered this case from uh, OKW. It's a uh, free sample actually, so I got it for free. And it's pretty cool. I mean, with the spacer ring it makes it a little thicker. So it'll allow more space for batteries and whatnot. But I'm going to see if I can try squeezing in without the spacer ring. And that would be awesome because if you see, the cartridge is almost identical, the, uh, the exact same size. So if I could uh, cut a slit for a, a right angle cart slot connector in there, I can have it so that it barely sticks out the top. And it fits pretty much perfectly, shoulder buttons up here and then your D-pad, and then your A, B, X, Y buttons here, start select, and a nice screen in the middle there. And so, I just wanted to show you guys a, a quick demo of everything working. I trimmed down this board quite a bit. It was originally uh, this size with uh, the power switch and everything. I removed all of that. I trimmed down the sides slightly, and I took off a little bit on the bottom as well. And so let's show that working. I have an LCD hooked up here. I know it's not a good idea to work on rug and whatever, yada, 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 but it's fine. I've never actually destroyed anything with static electricity anyway. So I'll throw in a copy of uh, Tetris Attack. Might help if I turned on power. And, ta-da, it all works. That's a little bright for this guy. There we go. And it looks quite nice, actually. There we go. It's a little bit uh, washed out because... Uh, you know, the uh, LCD is a little bit bright for the CCD on this camera. But anyway, you could see everything uh, is fully operational and on this tiny little board here. So I'll continue. Unfortunately, it just barely sticks out the top by a little bit, so I'm going to have to trim off some of the top. I can't really trim off anymore. Maybe I might be able to do like a millimeter off the bottom, but realistically it'll be easier to trim off the top without uh, breaking it. Several times I thought I fried the board or broke it while I was doing my uh, trimming, um, but I just checked um, any traces that I accidentally might have cut and then repatched them with um, a little 30-gauge uh, wire wrap wire, and I was good to go. And so everything works so far which I'm very happy with and you can see uh, the several wires that I've patched so I'm planning on hopefully getting this the entire board cut everything ready to go fit inside the case uh, within a week and then I can't well I could put this uh, 4.3 inch screen widescreen in there but unfortunately if you see it would take up the majority of the center space and there'd leave very little room for my buttons so, and anyway, I, I don't know why, but if you display a 4.3 image on a 16.9 on a widescreen display, it really bothers me for some reason. So I'm going to order a 4.3, uh, 3.5 inch screen, plop it right down in the middle, and that'll leave more room, for, more room for the buttons and whatnot. And it'll be correct aspect ratio, so, <laughs> so anyway... Uh, that's just a quick update that I wanted to do, and um, yeah, I'll keep on cracking, and I'm going to have to desolder it. That'll be fun. I have to get my hands on a uh, desoldering iron, uh, pull this cart slot connector off, and then rewire each of the pins so that I can have it pointing up so that the cart just slides down into it on the back. So that's pretty much what, I, uh, what I've been up to now, and so I'll give you guys an update later, so bye.